Hey guys, this is Justin from Generic Gaming, and welcome to the last episode of my World of Goo Let's Play. In this episode that I am now doing for the second time, we will be going to Epilogue, End of the World, and finishing the last three levels. Well, there's really only two levels, this last one's kind of a joke. But as you can see, I've actually already done them. Unfortunately, I forgot to reset my sound levels, so I kind of sounded like this. These are the last few levels in the game. Let's go right ahead and do the So, yeah. Uh, I fixed all that, and hopefully you can hear me better now. So, let's go to Weather Vane. Cloudy with a chance of doom. That is essentially what the forecast has been in Orlando for the past couple weeks, because it has been raining non-stop. I like the rain, but not this much. So, yeah, uh, there's probably going to be a lot less failing here because I actually just did these levels and I know how to beat them. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to redo them because my commentary didn't get through. And just watching World of Goo with no commentary is probably insanely boring. So, yeah. We're going to have to do all of this over. And it's not a big problem. I can just talk, and it'll go by pretty quickly, I hope. Last time it took around 20 minutes. We'll see how I do this time. But anyway, I've been looking up all these uh, Portal 2 videos because I'm super excited for that game. I think it's going to be amazing. I said that about Crisis 2 as well, thinking Crisis was going to be great. But uh, unfortunately, Crisis 2, after playing it, has lost a lot of the freedom and a lot of the uh, open-endedness that Crisis, the original game, had. And I just really miss it. And I don't like that game anywhere near as much. The original Crisis was amazingly open-ended. You could do whatever you wanted. Like, I would attach uh, C4 to cars and just drive them in suicide bomb cities. Well, little village towns or little island towns, I guess it was. But yeah, I really liked that game for that kind of reason because I could suicide bomb. That's what a good game needs. You hear me, Call of Duty? I'm not buying your next game unless it has suicide bombers. Sorry, I got interrupted by the telephone there. All right, let's go. So yeah, I was talking about a uh, crisis too. Ooh, thank God that didn't commit suicide. I was just saying suicide bombers, and here I am wishing that would not commit suicide. Suicide's a bad thing. Don't try it, kids. It hurts. But uh, yeah. I think Portal 2, from what I've seen, is going to be amazing. Every video with Cave Johnson in it just seems hilarious, and I'm sure GLaDOS will be sarcastically funny as always. And did I already run out of goo? Oh no, they're all down here like retards. Let's go. Come on. Up the tower, up the tower. Let's go, let's go. But yeah, that was my last Let's Play was Portal, and I, I really do love that game. It's got to be one of my favorite games of all time. And Portal 2 looks like it's going to just up the ante a lot. Don't fall. Damn it. <laughs> Ooh. I did better last time. I did not have anything crash, I swear. I can prove it, but I don't want to spend all the time processing and uploading that whole video just to prove that I did it better the first time. But yeah. Like I said, Portal's one of my favorite games, and JJ, I know you're probably watching this video. Stop watching and go play Portal, please. It is such a good game, you need to experience it. I did a whole Let's Play on it. You can, you can do it. Come on. Just like I can finish this level without actually getting there. No, 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 no. No, no, whatever, I already beat it. No big deal. <laughs> See, the first time I did this, I collected 20. That time I got 17, so I definitely did it better the first time. But it only took me uh, 3 minutes and 49 seconds, so I think that's faster. I think. Yeah, so, Horizontal Transportation Innovation Committee. Let's try and beat 12 collected, because that's what I got last time. And I'm not going to fail like I did last time, because I learned how to do it this time. It seems like you would build a bridge across, but in reality, this is actually pinned to the ground right there. So that you can build a, or a tower upwards. 
It simplifies life a lot. The raw, scientifically pure goo is all that's left, but they appear to be filled with hope and ambition. I remember when I used to have hope and ambition. Of course, they will never be able to build a bridge. It's probably best to skip this area and never come back. Nobody will even notice. But the sign painter will know. If you go up here, there's another sign. The pipe is over that way, but no one will ever get to it. The well-adjusted sign painter. I like how it just says over that way, but there's no arrow. Like I'm supposed to know where over that way is. I guess it kind of does show you it, but still. I'm already building this tower way, way too thick. You need it to be tall, not thick. Let's go, balloon. I need you. You have to use the balloon in this level for support. It really, really helps. And the OCD here is to collect 40. And I have an idea on how you could do that, but I'm not going to try it because I need to save time here. Because, again, I already did this whole recording and I don't really want to do it a third time trying to get this one level to have OCD. When I haven't even focused on OCDing any of the other levels. I'm sure there's people out there that have guides to OCD every single level. So if you really want to know, watch them. I'm just here for entertainment, not for uh, professional gaming advice. Starting to fall, starting to fall, starting to fall. Did I make it? Come on, come on. Ye nope. Yeah, made it. Counts. And there we go. That should win it for me. Spend one, get two. Worth it. 13, 14. And 15. There we go. See how it doesn't fall? Normally it would fall on this left side right here, but it's actually pinned to the ground. That's what gave me the hint that I need to build straight up and out across. First time I recorded this, I went straight across and that failed miserably. But yeah, those were the last two levels of World of Goo. Let us hit, uh, let's go to the epilogue, end of the world, the proper level, Observatory Observation Station. This is it. Not to be confused with the Michael Jackson movie, this is it. Do you miss Michael Jackson? I miss Michael Jackson. Oh, let's read the sign before I do any of this. The last of the goo balls were... Uh-oh, there aren't any more goo balls. They must have all been sucked away by the pipe system. All the goo balls from the entire world. All sucked up and sent to the former World of Goo Corporation campus, where they've been building a giant tower into the sky. Probably a good thing, too. The telescope is useless anyway. It's unable to see past that layer of smog and dust in L.A. Well, without any more goo balls, I guess that's it. We'll never know what the telescope can see or what's really up there. The end. Thanks for playing. Time to go do other things now. Maybe write a travel companion. I'm going to the telescope now. Goodbye. Whatever you do, don't play with the fish. Your friend, the telescope operator. Formerly, the sign painter. That hit it. That is his second to last sign. It's technically his last sign, but I'm going to uh, go to the Memorial and Recreation Park of the World of Goo Corporation to show you what is there, but not actually do anything. And there is one sign painter sign there. But we will get to that later. Right now, I'm playing with these Kirby type fish. I'm not even really sure what they are. They're sideways and they have wings and they are very scary and I'm connecting them all to the telescope. You can actually connect them anywhere on the island, but I think it's funnier to attach them all to the telescope. So let's go. This is it, guys. The end of the... Well, not the end of the world. The end of the game. And before the game ends, I'd actually like to give a shout-out to MX1149209. You have a lot of numbers in your name, but thank you for watching my videos. There aren't a lot of people that watch these Let's Play videos compared to my Minecraft videos. I guess people are just looking for quick tips out of Minecraft and don't want to have to watch a gameplay, but I'm glad you enjoy these gameplays because these are fun for me. Much more fun than the Minecraft videos. As the telescope drifted higher and higher, it could see very far. This is about to get into some dramatic music. The goo balls had come from every direction. From every species. I don't know how it saw that, because that's inside a cave, and I don't think telescopes have x-ray vision like that. From every island. 
through a filthy pneumatic pipe system. Yes, that is pneumatic, not pneumatic. To build a giant tower into the sky that is much bigger than any tower I will be building. A giant tower of goo. But what were they building towards? What future adventures were up there? The telescope looked for thousands of miles in every direction. Dramatic music. What is that? Oh, it's just goo on the front of the lens. Comic relief time. Get off. Come on. Get off of there. And just smear it into the ground. <laughs> oh, yellow glow. But we're falling back to Earth for some reason. The fish are all gone, if you notice. They are no longer connected to the telescope. I guess the fish uh, died in space, something like that? Sure. Remember sending that off into space? I do. It's off that way. Super Mario, I mean Goo Galaxy. Super Goo Galaxy. Alright. Unfortunately, that's not a real game. There is no Super Goo Galaxy. But, this has been the World of Goo Let's Play by me, Justin, for Generic Gaming. I'm very glad you watched the video to the end. Or if you're just skipping to right here, go back and watch the rest of the video. It's okay. <laughs> That's the best endorsement I can give my own video is, it's okay. <laughs> now I'm going to sit through these credits because, well, only two people really worked on this game. There's a couple others, but it can't take too long for such a small development team to get all these credits. It's not like a Call of Duty game where everyone and their mother gets a uh, credit. And funny enough, my dad actually does have a credit in a Disney game somewhere. I don't know what game it is, it's an old one, but he does have credits in there. He worked at Disney for 25 years. That's where everybody has to work if you live in Orlando, pretty much, is Disney. Or Publix if you're in high school. Robert Ramirez is goo ball number one. <laughs> and that is it. There's only one thing left to do before I'm done with this Let's Play entirely, and that is go to the Tower of Goo Memorial Park and Recreation Center, read the one sign painter sign, and then break my record. I, this is going to be tough, guys. I don't know how I'm going to break this record. Two meters. Gonna hit three. Oh, 3.3. 3. Broke the record. I'm done. No one's going to be able to beat that. No one. I keep leaving signs here, and they keep exploding. Try to keep this one safe. Hey look, something's missing. Whatever it is, the sky way up there is filled with dust and debri uh, debris from a giant explosion. Visibility is low. The goo balls will have to go even higher if they want to see very far. I wonder if we can still buy delicious drinks. Watching them build that tower makes me pretty thirsty. Almost all the goo balls in the world have come here, and they seem to want to climb higher and higher. What's up there anyway? The Wandering Sign Painter. It's amazing how much he fits on one small sign. You can't stop progress. Well, I did, because you're dead. And, uh, yeah, this actually does work here every, as you build higher and higher. More clouds appear in the sky, and those are other people's usernames and their records. This level is infinite in all directions, pretty much. Pretty much infinite, I say. And uh, the mark to beat the tallest tower in the world is at 3,811,451 meters. Or about 3 million times higher than mine is right now. 3 million times higher. Holy crap. I think he hacked. What a hacksaw. Here we go. ABC has 5.5 5 meters using 37. HL using 104 is only at 5.4. God, I used, I used 11, and I'm almost there. And he used 104. Come on. But yeah, the last thing to do. Reset button. 
Boom. And there goes my cloud. That is it for the Let's Play of World of Goo. I'm very glad you watched. I hope you enjoyed. And leave a comment in the or leave a comment below suggesting what ne uh, Let's Play I should do next. As we get to the end, I can barely talk. I think I've done enough of these. Let me know. See you guys then.